Hey friends, this is Nick, and I call my channel DZ Performance, and I appreciate you tuning in. The motor package that I'm bringing you today is a GM Performance Parts short block. It was originally, when I bought the motor, it was a GM HO motor. Uh, how I got it was it was a boat motor. The boat was wrecked the first weekend it was uh, installed in the boat, and uh, so I scored a real good deal on it. But the the biggest reason I'm showing you this is this is a project that you could buy a short block right out of Summoner Jegs for a GM Performance Parts block. They they come without the cam, so they're fifty five hundred dollars today is what they are, plus shipping and tax. The cylinder heads I used on it were two sixty five Airflow Research oval ports, fully CNC machined. That's not them. They're just there for a prop. Those are Airflow Research heads. But I ran this, I bought a GM Performance ZZ502 uh, cam. They use that cam in the, in the 502 and the 427. The rockers that I used on it was 1.8 Scorpions. And the lifters, I didn't use the factory hydraulic lifters, which I'm going to do some testing on the factory hydraulic lifters in the future. But what I used was Lenite solid lifters, solid rollers. Uh, and it is a hydraulic roller cam. I have an abundance of these Lenite solid roller lifters here at the shop because I, I run them in my drag week motor and I only run them for two seasons and I take them out. I've never had a lifter fail, but I've never left them in more than two years of a drag and drive event. But this motor, as I ran it, was a 265cc Airflow Research Heads. I ran a Edelbrock RPM air gap it was port matched and a little bit of work done in the plenum area below the just at the top so a very minor amount of smoothing up on the Edelbrock rpm the the compression ratio you come up with on this project would have was 9.3 i ran a fell pro 39 thousandths head gasket the pistons are 20 thousandths in the hole the uh the compression's 9.3. So um, I ran the carburetor I ran on this test was my Brawler 750 vacuum opening, 770 vacuum opening secondaries. Uh, I had the secondaries wired open so that they would uh, they would open fully as soon as the throttle it was uh, fully open. This carb spacer I used was just a open one inch spacer phenolic material. So these are the numbers that it came up with. Well, I'll, I'll give you the cam specs, full cam specs is 224 on the intake and 234 on the exhaust measured at 50 thousandths. The lift is 527 on the intake and 544 lift on the exhaust. Now that's measured with a 1.7 rocker. I ran 1.8s. So you can figure about 35 thousandths more on the lift, maybe one to two duration more on the duration of the cam due to the rocker ratio. And like I was saying, the reason I'm bringing you to this project is because I was really impressed with the numbers. I, I didn't expect any more than 550 when I took this motor to dyno, but it did 564 foot-pounds of torque and it did 571 for the horsepower you know for a 9.3 to 1 compression motor uh, it i was i was very satisfied with that i thought those were were great numbers and it'd be a project that you wouldn't have to have any machine work done you you could buy a short block from gm performance parts cylinder heads was straight out of the box i didn't touch them i didn't change the it was the factory springs that came with the Edelbrock, or came with the uh, Airflow Research 265 heads. And I did run the original uh, stock oil pan, the truck oil pan. It had a windage tray in it that came factory in the motor. Uh, the reason I have my 781s out here is this summer, I'm going to, I'm gonna put the 781s on today. I'm going to do a startup stand video on them but i'm going to dyno test and see what just switching to a set of 781s will do to the horsepower and torque 
but this is my GM Performance Parts HO short block with a ZZ cam, Airflow Research Heads, Edelbrock RPM intake and 770 brawler. This package made 571 horsepower. It's something you could build with no machine shop assistance, just mail order parts. And I was, I was very excited about the, the numbers that it made. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you.